meet Shigemura Yuna, also known as Yuna in the Death Game Sword Art Online. Yuna was first introduced in the anime original story Ordinal Scale as a digital recreation of herself, while her original self made her debut in the VR world of Aincrad with the Ordinal Scale prequel story Hopeful Chant. Yuna was invited to play Sword Art Online together by her childhood friend Eiji, who had failed to secure two copies of the game. Yuna's father Shigemura Tetsuhiro managed to secure two copies through his ties to Kayaba Akihiko to allow the duo to play together. Leaving a wristband as a present for her father to thank him, Yuna dived into the world of Sword Art Online as Yuna, along with Eiji under the name of Nautilus in the game. Shortly after they entered the game, however, Kayaba revealed that the players were now stuck in Aincrad until Sword Art Online was cleared. Despite her passion to become stronger and help others stuck in SAO, Yuna initially listened to Nautilus's request to stay within the safety of towns, but eventually she acquired a dagger skill and started venturing out of town to gain more experience and money. Her resolve to help clearing the game was so strong that she had soon reached a level close to that of the clearers at the time, a feat that required a lot of effort. Yuna was also a fan of music and singing, yet getting trapped in Aincrad had not stopped her from pursuing her passion. She was known by titles like Song Enchanter and Utachan in SAO due to her common performances at Teleport Gate Plazas and eventually obtaining an extra skill named Chant that buffed players who had listened to the entirety of one of her songs. However, players preferred listening to Yuna's songs just to enjoy the songs themselves in the death game rather than the buffs they provided which came to the surprise of players like Asuna. She came across plenty of famous players during her time in Aincrad, but never had a direct contact with them. On October 18, 2023, Yuna found Nautilus in a poor disguise after not having received responses to her messages for a while. Realizing he was troubled due to not being allowed into the boss battle for the 40th floor, Yuna offered Nautilus to have a meal together to cheer him up and headed for a restaurant. As Yuna was talking about her desire to join the clearers, a player appeared at the town gate just outside the restaurant, requesting help for his party that got trapped in a field dungeon. Yuna firmly insisted on joining the rescue team led by Nautilus, which included a variety of players that had been on the spot including several members of Klein's guild, Furin Kazan. The battle of the rescue effort continued for 8 minutes without major issues against the field dungeon boss, the Feral Warder Chief, but as the boss's final health bar turned red, a sudden and unexpected area of effect attack paralyzed almost the entire rescue party who had been distracted by a huge wave of reinforcements called in moments before the boss's attack. Everyone in the room aside from Yuna, Nautilus and the members of Furin Kazan were affected by the paralysis. Sensing that Nautilus was about to recommend running away using their teleport crystals by themselves, thus abandoning the remaining members to their inevitable death, Yuna rejected the notion before Nautilus could even put it into words and instead activated one of her chants to pull the boss's minions away from the paralyzed players onto herself. Yuna's selfless act gave the other players enough time to recover and defeat the boss, but despite Nautilus's efforts at trying to convince the Furin Kazan members to help Yuna and his efforts to help her himself, it was not enough to save Yuna. As her journey in Aincrad came to a tragic end, she threw towards Nautilus a ball of candy she had carried around with her to tend to her voice and to cheer Eiji up. With her final words, she apologized that she would no longer be able to cheer him up with it. Three years later however, the bottle of candy was recreated once again and a new chapter in the life of her father and childhood friend caused Shigemura Yuna to transcend death as the Sword Art Online servers in the old Argos headquarters started lighting up for the first time since the end of the SAO incident. For more on Shigemura Yuna and Sword Art Online, make sure to visit the Sword Art Online wiki and check out these other SAO wiki features that we know you'll find useful and don't forget to follow us at sao_wikia on Twitter for the latest news on the series.